Canada boasts one of the lowest rates of deforestation in the world, which sounds pretty awesome. I mean, after all, the IPCC lists deforestation and forest degradation as some of the leading contributors to climate change. Yet, it's that second term here where Canada gets into trouble, as there's a big difference between the two. See, deforestation is the process of losing forest cover, and this is measured by looking at the overall forest coverage across a landmass and whether or not that number is growing or shrinking. Now, forests in Canada are regularly replanted after they're logged, which doesn't technically change the amount of forest cover, and there are also many initiatives to plant more trees than currently exist, so forest coverage is actually increasing in some areas, which is rad. Forest degradation, on the other hand, is where the forest coverage doesn't necessarily change, but the ecological quality or health of a forest is lost through various human actions. Canada currently ranks number three in the world for intact forest loss, yet still loves to claim that it has the most sustainable forest industry in the world. Yet these claims for sustainability are incredibly myopic, only concerning the economic values and not the larger scale ecological, societal, and cultural impacts of the industry. On average, 1.8 million acres of forests are harvested annually in Canada, from coastal rainforest to boreal forests, with 1.7 million of those done in devastating clear-cut fashion that aren't often ecologically appropriate for these unique forests, nor do they consider the frequency at which disturbances of that scale have happened historically. But since these forests are replanted, it's not considered deforestation, even though the ecological function and carbon storage held within those forests has been irreparably damaged and lost, contributing not only to climate change, but uncontrollable wildfires, floods, landslides, habitat and biodiversity loss, as well as economic instability of the forest industry, and none of those things are things we should be patting ourselves on the back over. So let's cut the greenwashing and do better.